I was a gymnast for over 10 years. I was a level training level 10 gymnast, and I had to quit recently because of my back. So basically, I've been friends with a few people. Like I've been friends with Chase for a really long time now, and I just slowly became friends with like everyone. And then like when the whole idea was planned out, Thomas was telling me about it. And he was like, "Definitely, like we want you to be a part of it." And I would love to because like it's all my friends. I was like, "Yes, for sure." And um, Nina, you ready to go home? No. So like a bunch of people in the house, like they do like dancing and stuff. I do makeup. Like I like when they were talking about like how how long you take to make a video. Like some videos take me six hours to make that, and then I post. And like posting three times a day with makeup, I can't really do. So, but when I like put all this effort into like makeup looks, I do like scary like acting videos and stuff with it. And like that kind of just took off. And like no one else here really does makeup. It's just irrelevant. So they're just like, we need you. Like that's a whole different like realm of things. So basically for a basic like makeup video I would do, I'd find an audio. And then whenever I do my makeup, it's kind of weird because no one really asks me like how like I put like thought into it because like I usually, there's a caption that goes with the audio and then with my makeup, I can't do my makeup unless I have a thought in my head of like something that's like going on like with me, something sad, anything, I'll put it all into like a look that's based off the audio. Then I'll use it. So no one really knows like the backstory of like my videos because like it's like personal, but like I just like put it out there. It's so, like show it through makeup and see if anyone can like figure it out. I have no clue, that's the thing. I just like, I did it one time. I was like doing my makeup for um, an Instagram post that was like based off of something that just like recently happened and so then I put all like put it all on my face and I was like wait I could put this on TikTok and do it so then I picked like an audio with so it and now instead of doing it that way I flipped it and I find an audio because it's audios are kind of hard to find right now because like they're like being overused so I'm like really trying to like find like good audios for makeup. Oh by the way if you'd really like to know he went that way. So what I do is I find, like, I have videos planned, like, for, like, my week. Like, I have a video and an audio saved right now that I'm going to do tonight, which all happens at, like, 3 a.m., because, like, that's where all my thoughts, like, come in. And so I, like, find the audio, like, a week before, and I just, like, listen to it over and over again. What am I going to do for it? And then, then I do the makeup, and then, like, the video doesn't take, it doesn't take that long to shoot the video after I do the makeup. So like the video like comes like really quick, like it take me five minutes to film a video, but the process before it's like hours. Sometimes it takes like two or three to do a retake, yeah. Why can't you want me like the other boys do? My entire family is so supportive, like I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. And like she she usually helps with the like with my fashion. I'm in love with fashion stuff, and so is she. So she helps with my makeup, what I need to post, when I need to post. She just keeps me on track. That's why she moved down here with me, so I would stay on track. Yes, um, I didn't really like start growing until last year of like June, but I've been on that for like four or five years now, like social media in general. And it affected a lot at school. School-wise, uh, no one else had the app. And so like it kind of was weird that like I was getting to go do like certain things for like social media reasons and like people did not like that. They were like, why are you doing this? Why are you at this school? And so then that's when I like kind of started to like move towards um, like posting like little less of like, how do you explain that? I used to like post like funny videos and like comedy make fun of myself and then that would like backfire. But then I finally, like, I've gotten over it because like, I don't really care. Like, I'm going to post it, my supporters like it and stuff like that. And then like, with posting videos and being at school and then being a gymnast, I was a gymnast for over 10 years. I was a level training level 10 gymnast and I had to quit recently because of my back. But that's why I started to go on like online school was because of gymnastics. It was four hours every day of practice and filming TikToks and all that. So I kind of like 
didn't go back into going to regular school because of like the whole TikTok thing and just like I didn't like emotionally didn't want to have to deal with it because like already all online it's kind of hard with the bullying and stuff but having them all here it's helped so much because everyone knows what you're going through. Flowing, I took off my earrings, I did it. Yes. It showed him what he was missing, like. So we were competing for a level nine and I stress fractured my back and then they told me not to compete anymore but I didn't want to do that so then I kept competing and then I actually like really really injured it so then I was like I can't do that anymore. But it, it got me here. If I was still in gymnastics, I'd be back in Indiana. I'd like to be able to like stay on all the apps and like get to be a part of like all my like supporters and stuff. But I also like really into fashion. I want my own clothing line. Working on makeup line. Um, I'm getting on YouTube. Getting into acting. It's kind of just like a bunch of things that I want to try and do. And hopefully they all work out. <laughs>